so today is a tutorial i did film a tutorial but it's a get ready with me tutorial i'm about to go ahead and film a style book for you guys so you'll see that in another video probably in about two days you'll see the style book that i was working on but today i did a full face it's like a simple smoky eye not too many steps i used um some jumbo pencils i used the inglot um, loose pigment to get, add a little pop to it and I use this combination on the lips which you'll see later it reminds me of a dupe for the buxom but it's just I don't know it's such a it's a different color it's a color that I haven't seen so I'm so happy that I created it and I'm trying to create a couple more lip combos so I can do like a summer lip combo video that's different i don't want to just come at you with the same stuff everybody else is wearing so i'm trying to come up with some different combos so this will be one of them and you'll find out what this is in the rest of the video so i hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial and i'll see you in two days with the style book ciao so i've already filled in my eyebrows with the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade and chocolate and now i'm just cleaning them up with a little bit of la girl pro conceal and the first step that I'm using to prime my face is the Makeup Forever Step 1. This really mattifies the skin. And then I'm going over that with the Maybelline Baby Skin um, more, excuse me, Pore Minimizing Primer. So on to the eyes, I'll be using the NYX Eyeshadow Primer in Skin Tone. Even though I'm using the Jumbo Pencils, I still want to put this down because they are dark colors. So I still want them to be very deep, dark colors and not just kind of crease into my skin. The first color I'm using is this Maybelline Master Smoky Pencil in the color green. I'm not sure if that's the exact name, but I'll have it in the description box down below. And I'm applying this all over my eyelid up into the crease. So the next color I'll be using to blend that harsh line out is this soft chocolate brown color from this LA Colors palette. I found it in the Dollar Tree. I'm not, it doesn't have names for the colors, but to me it's like a soft chocolate brown. And I'm using this as my transition color and my blending color to just remove that harsh line that you see from the pencil, the green pencil that I placed on my lid. And for my brow bone highlight, I'm taking this LA Colors um, palette the same one and it's like a peanut butter color to me it's like a soft peanut butter color it reminds me of a color from another palette but I can't think of it right now so you guys can kind of get a better feel of what it really is and I'm taking my Rimmel scandalized cold pencil in black and I'm just gonna do just a sharp line in the crease I'm not really doing a cut crease but just another color to blend that um, green color and still keep it kind of smoky. This is a soft smoky eye, not not too smoky, but just right. So the next color I'm using is another um, Maybelline Master Smoky Pencil. This is the color purple. And I'm gonna be applying this to my lower lash line. The two colors work very well together. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go back into that cold pencil and apply that to my waterline. This is a black pencil. So just to add a little bit of drama to the eyes, I'm taking this Inglot Loose Pigment in AMC. And it's like a mermaid type of color. It's like greenish, brownish, has some blue in there. I'm just applying that to the center of the lid so your focus can be right there in the center of my eye. And it just makes it pop a little bit more. And I'm going to add a small little liner with my e.l.f. Liquid Liner. Just a tiny little wing and i'm going to apply my false lashes off camera which are these wet and wild lashes so on to the face yes i am still using my lancome tint e dolls foundation in the color 550 this is a sample and it's still working out great <laughs> so i'm applying this all over my face Notice I didn't use any concealer first because that just kind of moves around once you're applying your foundation. But you can choose to go in with concealer afterwards if there are some spots that you need to cover up. So for my highlight, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the color Warm Honey. And I'm applying this under my eyes, my cupid's bow, 
um, my chin, down my nose, and my forehead just to create that um, glow, that natural highlight. Just accentuating the best parts of your face. So I'm going to be blending that in. And this isn't as bright as of a highlight as you see here. It's just uh, the ring light does make it appear brighter. So I'm just going to be blending that in. Once I have this blended, I'm going to be utilizing the Mary Kay Loose Powder in the color Bronze 2. I use this because it's kind of a lighter powder for me, so it blends very well with um, my highlight when I use this concealer. So I'm placing that all over the areas that I just highlighted. And to contour, I'm going to use this Black Radiance um, Concealer Stick in Deep. And I'm just going to apply this to my face just to create a little bit of a uh, face shape to, to a round face. And then I'll be blending that in with the blending sponge. Once I have this blended in, I am going to use the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. And this is just to set the, because it's somewhat of a liquid, but not really. But I'm just going to use that to set it so it'll stay in place. So to tie the entire look together, I'm going to utilize my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Deep Dark. And this just will go all over my face just to kind of blend everything together. And for my blush, I'm using MAC Sweetest Cocoa. This is like a natural blush for a brown skin girl like myself. It's like a orangish, well not even really orangish, but it has like a brown color to it, but it appears to be slightly orange once you place it on the skin. And then to um, add a little bit more of a glow to my face, I'm using Max Gold Deposit. And I'm just going to apply this right above that blush and on the tip of my nose just to make it a cute little button. And for the lip, I'm taking this LA Girl pencil in the color Hazelnut. And this is just a pencil that I just grabbed the other day in the beauty supply store. They're only a dollar. So I try to get as many of them as I can because they're pretty pigmented and they go on really easily. And I'm just applying this all over my lip. If you notice, it's like a burnt brown or burnt orange color, like a spicy color. And then I'm taking the Ruby Kisses Matte Lipstick in Peach. And this just highlights the lip just a little bit, but it still keeps that burnt look. And it really goes well with the eye look, if I say so myself. Let me know what you think of this lip combo. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Elf Setting Spray. And here you have the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I will see you guys in my next video.